my pretties. Welcome back to my channel, The Sun, where we're always working towards something greater. I am feeling the Halloween witchy vibes. It is the end of September, and I am very excited for Halloween. Because Halloween has always been my preferred holiday ever since I was a kid. I loved it. So, anyways, we're, we're kind of off subject here. Today, the topic that I wanted to talk about is we're getting close to Halloween, and I wanted to talk about magic. Magic and do I think it's real? What do I think it is? How do I think magic works? So let's get into that. Do I think magic is real? Yes. Yes and no. I mean, yes, I really kind of do believe in magic. What magic is, I don't think it's some super mysterious, crazy, mythical thing that, you know, happens just you know that sounds super just like fairy tale like no i don't think magic is quite exactly that but what i do think that magic is is i think that magic really is associated with you your energy and your brain i do think that magic is real and it could be arguable that magic could possibly just be fake magic could just be a placebo effect that you're making things better and that i think is partially what magic actually is so if we look at scientific studies what do we find a lot of the time people go into these and some of them were given a placebo a fake pill that they don't really they don't really have any actual benefits of a certain chemical or anything in them that's actually truly working and benefiting them it's just that they think that it's benefiting them and a lot of the time you will see that in these results the people that were given the placebo a lot of the time some of them made maybe not significant improvements but some of them actually did make improvements in whatever the study was that they were working towards Maybe not always, but a good portion of the time, just their thought alone about the fact that it was working made a difference. That goes to show that the brain is a very powerful thing. Nobody can deny that energy is the foundation of the universe, the foundation of everything, the foundation of everything around us, everything that's solid everything that's gas, everything that's air, it's all energy. That is just scientific fact. Um, I have mentioned this in another video that I did that it doesn't make sense how things work sometimes, like a radio. It doesn't make sense how a tape or a CD can play certain frequencies and noises that it does. If you gave that to a primitive person, they would never Think that that's what it could do and to them that would be magic because it doesn't make sense how it worked and so many inventors in the world and everything like Einstein and Tesla you know just so many inventors people discouraged them and told them that things were not possible to do and they proved the world wrong and showed them these inventions and things that could happen and things that this universe was capable of and there is a lot more that I think is out there about this stuff. Now, when I think that there is a placebo effect about your brain just thinking something is working, that's partially what I think magic is, is that your brain, if you convince it to think that it is working, whatever it is you are trying to bring and manifest to yourself, that can be something that actually starts making changes because you then believe it. You believe that there is a higher power out there working towards you. And your energy and your brain is putting out that energy now. It's like a transmitter, just like a radio or something. You just point your energy in the right direction, like you point an antenna in the right direction, and you will get that station to come through. You will get that energy and you will get whatever it is that you're looking for to come through and come to you. Your brain is putting out that transmission and it's just looking for things like to come into whatever that intention was that you wanted. And that's where I believe magic is true. That's where I believe magic comes from. 
is it's partially a placebo effect of you just believing that it's working and that it's happening. And that belief puts out those energies to be attracted to you. Scientifically, these things have been proven with even just intention, you know, showing that there was that experiment where people put their intention into the glass of water and it showed that the molecules of the water changed. It's kind of the same thing. I do believe that that is where magic comes from. Your belief, what your intention is that you put out into the universe and it radiates, it radiates throughout and it brings in those like energies. That is where I believe, you know, the law of attraction comes from. And that's why it makes sense that that can work is because when you put out that positive energy, when you put out your intention, or when you do the law of assumption that you just assume something is coming to you, then that starts to bring those things to you because that's the energy that you're putting out. That's the energy that you're transmission, transmitting. That's the energy and the station that you're looking for to come back to you. So, yes, I do believe that magic is real. And that's where I believe it is real from. Maybe there's no entirely solidified, you know, scientific evidence of this. But that's where I believe that it comes true. Your heart, your brain, they put off electrical signals and they're like the strongest things in your body um, I actually I think looked into something that your heart actually has a stronger transmission than your brain and just that's where it comes from you putting out that energy you putting out that belief and when your head and your heart believe that and bring it to you that is where magic comes from is your belief and you putting that out there. So keep your heads high, guys. Put your intention out into the universe and create your own magic. Hope you guys have a great rest of the day, and I hope this video was helpful. I'll catch you on the next one.